All right, here we are, boys and girls. This is the Fido Q1S. Everything I've been doing to it cosmetically so far is here. We got the Omo bag, the metal pegs. We got the child seat, rear tail light, new headlight, new handlebars, and a mirror and a new seat. I think that's everything. Um, I just put the child seat on today. I thought it'd be really cool to take this over to my in-laws house and drive my nephews around the yard and stuff. If it e even can go in the yard, I don't know. Um, I did buy one more mod that will be here tomorrow and that is the shock in the back. So this is the stock shock. It is 750 pound capacity. We're replacing this. Uh, it should be fairly easy. You just take these two bolts off on the top and the bottom and swap them out. I got the 165 millimeter spring. I believe that's what I needed from what I've been researching. So we'll be doing that. It will be our first actual mod that I'll probably film the whole thing on. Everything else is pretty straightforward as far as assembly. Um, as far as the pegs go, the old ones are rubber. I didn't really like them. Uh, they're a little bit uh, smaller in diameter as well. So I just, you just unscrew these and screw the new ones on. It's that simple. Uh, same with the seat. I did record this, but it's real simple. It's just four bolts. Uh, the tail light is just 3M taped on uh, to just be there for now. I do have another tail light coming in, uh, but that actually should be here today, I believe. I have the new Omo bag, which is this right here, and it's really cool because it has a couple different compartments. So in the pocket on the right side, you have a place for your raincoat and then a place for your tools. So I just carry my mini tool for right now. Uh, I may put some other tools in here as we go and maybe a raincoat might be a good idea. So it opens from the sides and the top. The top is a just a quick access compartment, which is kind of taken up by the seat now. That'll be a good place to run wires. Uh, over here, we're gonna see something new in here, but the inside of this has little pouches. There's two on the inside pocket and then one big one right here. Uh, and they have a place to strap your battery. So it comes with all of this to strap the battery in and then you can put your controller over here. It just depends on what your setup's like. I will probably fill this bag when I get done and probably not have room for my controller. So there may be some different things that I need to do about that. I still haven't decided exactly what system I'm gonna run. I'm considering 60 volt. I think 72 volts is just gonna be a little bit too much when I actually wanna use it. We may get everything 72 volt and uh, tame it down a little bit in the settings but the uh, inside here has just got this compartment these straps actually go through the bag all the way into the back here and strap around the frame so this is held really well in place and it's not going to go anywhere the reason the 48 volt battery is in here is that's going to be the first performance mod we're going to do and we're going to take out the uh, stock battery and controller in here and we're just gonna connect straight to this battery. So your stock system is 36 volts. This is a 48 volt battery. It should give us a slight performance increase by adding just this. So we're just gonna slowly progress through and do uh, a series of things. But the first test we're gonna do is with the stock controller and the new 48 volt battery, 20 amp hour. So that'll at least double my range, if not more and we're going to keep the stock motor for the time being just to see how everything performs and then our next test will probably be i might just add the 52 volt just because to see if the 52 volt battery i have will work with the system or if it'll blow up the motor uh, at that point i'll already have a motor at least one maybe two and we'll uh, work on on that after after we're done testing this so this is going to be a slow progression like i told a couple people uh, i'm not planning on modifying this super quick as far as the performance goes um, i did want to do some exterior mods because the uh, seat that i just got is probably the most comfortable seat i've ever used on a bike or scooter 
incredibly comfortable made a huge difference from the stock seat which was already pretty comfortable in itself so I'm really happy with that and then here's a little child seat I just got that in today from wild rides they are now sold out but maybe they'll get some more in if they have some interest and I did add this new headlight up here that is functioning I turn it on you can see the light on the hand there it's not to its full capacity yet because it does have flashing lights on the side that are red and blue which I will be hooking up as soon as I get all my wiring in. I ordered a bunch of electric components like switches and things like that. So uh, that'll be something we're doing next. But we do have it hardwired into the stock controller and it's working fine. No problems. Again, we got this little light back here, which is just a uh, easy, you can just take it off like pushing this. And it just recharges, but it has the automatic brake feature. So... If you stop, it'll automatically get brighter. So here we go with the seat. We're just gonna hop on real quick. And as you can see, we got the new BMX style handlebars up here, uh, which I look like I need to straighten a little bit from what I can tell. Maybe not. Looks like it might be off centered a little bit. Uh, and that might be the stem, not the handlebar. I just noticed that I didn't notice it when I was riding all right so here's your stock components brakes switch throttle headlight switch over here we got our honeycomb style rubber grips lockable um, I had to cut this one in half but I think it turned out pretty good I just use a little tiny hacksaw to cut that off and make it pretty straight and then it locks fine with just this one so I'm glad that worked out. I wasn't sure if it would or, would or not. And then we got the Mi Chao mirror. Uh, this is my first time using these. I usually use half knee mirrors. Uh, they've been really generous to me, but I just wanted to try this out and I thought it looked really cool. And it kind of matches the uh, honeycomb on the grip. And I'm also probably gonna get a honeycomb fender uh, for the back at least. Uh, it's a carbon fiber with a honeycomb pattern. So it'll be pretty neat, I'll show you that. But yeah, I just added these bars. I wanted something a little bit different than the stock ones that just, you know, come way up here. Uh, this does sit down a little bit lower, but I actually find that it's pretty comfortable to ride like that. Maybe not for long distance. We'll see once we get this 48 volt battery hooked up. I haven't driven this very far at all. I haven't left my neighborhood with this bike yet. So that's going to be on the agenda once I upgrade the battery. I do want to get a bigger battery because I do not want to get stranded with this. Although I can just get picked up. But since this doesn't have pedals, you can't pedal at home. So i am just been really cautious. Uh, I am pretty low on battery right now. I haven't charged it in a few days. So I do need to get home and charge it. But that's the Fido Q1S so far cosmetically. Let me know if you guys have any questions. If you have any suggestions on something I should do next, please leave it down in the comment section. I'm pretty much done cosmetically for right now. I think we got it to a pretty good spot where it's uh, cute and functional and comfortable. And that's really all I was going off of so far. But there we go. We got the headlight on. So there's the headlight. I don't know how much you can see it in the daytime. But I just wanted to give you a quick walk around through the bike so far. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys checking out my Fido series. This is not sponsored at all. This is all being paid for by me. I am working my butt off to uh, bring you guys some different content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good weekend.